Hello everybody, this is a video on how to get to the main stage at Children's Grand Park in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, in case you're trying to attend any events there, esports or otherwise, this is a video on how to do it. So, hope you enjoy. So here we are at Children's Grand Park Station. Uh, this is uh, the station right before you exit. You want to take exit number one. That is right up there at the top. You can follow the signs right above you. You want to walk straight, then you're going to make a right hand turn and then walk straight up out into the entrance of Children's Grand Park. So in case you are new or unfamiliar with Seoul, this is how uh, you do it. Now this is on line number seven. So it's a dark green color on the subway map in Korea. Uh, if you're on the southern side of Korea, you can get to line number seven through places like the express bus terminal which is a very common uh, stop for a lot of different subway lines. If you're on the north side of Seoul, then you want to take like line number two, which is the green line. Uh, it's very common, and that'll get you one stop at a university stop right before uh, Children's Grand Park. So you want to walk all the way to the end of this hallway, then make a right-hand turn, and that will take you to exit number one, which is the Children's Grand Park exit. Uh, now, if you don't want to take the subway, you can also just take a taxi. Taxis are pretty affordable in Seoul. And just tell them that you're going to Children's Grand Park and they will take you there. But if you want to go for the most affordable option, or if you're just traveling with a lot of friends, then this is the way to do it. So, up here on the walls and on the floor, and you'll see lots of cute little animals. Matt will tell you that you are, in fact, going the right direction. And here is how you get there. So just walk all the way to, down to the end of this hallway and this should take you right outside. And then once you get outside you want to take a uh, right hand turn and you'll see this big temple like structure that will be the entrance to Children's Grand Park. So the uh, up elevators are not moving. They move when you pass through the sensors and then they should start up here and we'll begin our ascent out into the outer world. All right, so here we are again outside. We've just exited exit number one. And this is what you'll see right in front of you. There's big trees and then over here, if I can get it to focus, this is actually the main entrance to Children's Grand Park. Uh, it looks a little bit like a temple if you've ever seen one of those. This is the main entrance. So this is what you wanna to head towards, walk right inside, and then we'll cover how to get actually to the venue where a lot of these esports events are held. So here we are again, we've just entered the park through the front entrance. Over to your left you'll be able to see a sign that will tell you exactly where you need to go. But we don't need the sign because that's why I'm here. So essentially you're going to walk straight into the park, walk up to this big fountain up here, and then make a right hand turn at the end of a sign that says, I soul you. But we're going to walk up to there and in the meantime I will tell you a little bit about this park. It's called Children's Grand Park and it's actually gigantic. It's about 500 or it's about 300 square feet. I might be mixing that up. I think it's actually 500 square feet but uh, it's a huge park. It has so many things inside of it. It's got a zoo. Uh, it's got things like polar bears, seals and stuff like that. Uh, it's got a natural garden that you can walk through and it also has an amusement park attached to it. Now it's nothing like super super huge but it is actually pretty legit so if you have some time get here early and go check it out. It's beautiful to walk through uh, and if you guys bring things for picnics then you can do that here too. But let's actually talk about what you can see. Over to your right there's going to be a Kultu family store that's like a convenience store so if you want to buy some snacks or drinks or whatever uh, I'd recommend either going there or getting them before you get here because uh, depending on how long the event is, you're gonna be here for quite a while. And then you just keep walking straight. Now off to your right up here, you'll see another stage. This is not the stage you are looking for. Well, most likely not. And ahead of you, you'll see very happy buses right before we get to this uh, musical fountain, uh, which is actually pretty impressive if you get a chance to see it at night. There's lots of like water and light shows with music uh, at the same time. And uh, when you walk up to the fountain, you'll be seeing a sign that says, I soul you in uh, giant letters. So you want to walk all the way to the end of the sign uh, up until the U, not the U in soul, the U uh, in you. <laughs> and uh, that, that's where you're going to want to turn right 
in order to get to the venue that has most of the big events here at the park. So you can see I soul you there at the end. And then once you get to the end, you'll see a road right ahead of you and you want to take that one. Not the one straight ahead, but the one off to the right. And this will lead you to the big, uh, big auditorium that has, uh, has the events you're probably trying to get to. So we're going to keep walking there. This is going to be a little bit bumpy, but hopefully that'll shake out, no pun intended. And uh, yeah, so this event, this venue uh, seats, I think like 5,000 people. It's actually insane how many people there are that come to these things. If you've ever seen big events here, then you know already. And if you haven't, then you're going to find out. So you want to keep walking all the way to the end of this road and then make a left-hand turn. So just to keep track, since you've entered the park, you've walked straight, then made a right-hand turn at the end of the I Soul You by the fountain. And now you want to walk to the end of this road and make a left-hand turn. And that is how you get here. Like I said, it's absolutely beautiful throughout this entire park. Gigantic, so if you get here like several hours early, or if there are breaks in between games, feel free to walk around. It is gorgeous. There's also squirrels here, which is not something that I am too used to. But yeah, so you got, uh, you got greenhouses off to your right, and here is our first site of the actual venue. You can see it up there. It's that big building through the trees, and you'll see more of it when we walk around the corner. Now, this is the day of the ASL and GSL finals. So people will be setting up for that here. You can see some of the tents over there and there's TV trucks and people working outside. There's that guy with a golden egg, which is how you know you are on the right track. So yeah, here's the menu off to the left and you can enter right through here, but most likely the entrance that you want to take is actually around the corner up here that you can enter in as well. This is where you'll get to most of the accessible seating. There they are bringing in cameras right now. So it's a little bit of uh, early access, I guess. I'm not gonna, not gonna go backstage or anything, but this is basically just how you get to the venue. Uh, I know when I first got to Korea, it was very difficult for me to sort of work my way around and see new things for the first time, especially if you're by yourself, that can be kind of daunting. So hopefully this makes it a little bit easier for you to find out where you need to go when you come to big events like this. So you can see walking around the side, off through the trees, there's gonna be a bunch of wooden seats. It's this big sort of amphitheater kind of setting. And you will walk right up that road and then take a, take a left. I'm gonna see if I can actually walk up a little bit further, but this is, uh, this is in general just, uh, just where to go. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, feel free to post somewhere down below. Uh, I'll be putting links to the subway map and uh, information about Children's Grand Park down below. So if you have any further questions, then uh, just post it and hopefully some kind soul will answer you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did and I'll see you later.